Hey Jen, I know this is long overdue. Today we're gonna do a closet tour, but the caveat to that is that this is my closet tour just before I'm about to move everything out to my new studio, but that's still probably two months off from when I'm recording this video. So I wanna go through my setup today. I think a lot of you guys are just interested in storage of a lot of this stuff, but then what I'll probably also do is additional like breakout videos where I'll dive deeper into my underwear drawer, into my sock drawer, into my dress shirts and everything else. And so I'll show you my setup today. It's a little bit messy, it's a little bit chaotic as I as I process the move, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. I, mean, I know uh, I love behind the scenes stuff, and that's just that's what I'm into. So let's get into the closet right now. This is the primary closet in my bedroom, and it's where I keep most of my stuff. Now you can see my dress shirts here. This closet goes back about um, you know two feet from within the door there, so quite a lot of dress shirts, and I organize them by the time that I wore them. So the newest stuff that I just wore goes up here. So then I usually choose from right back into the center here and then back inside the closet. This is where I have my short sleeves and my polos. Up here is a bit of a mess. This is all my athletic gear, um, you know, running shorts and thermals. I have some sweatshirts that I run in. I have my performance underwear. I've got my, uh, some of my hats that I run in. And so all this stuff is just kind of a mess. And then this is um, when I go, we have a farm up north of Pittsburgh and that's some of my stuff over there so yeah, as so you can see all the dress shirts I have a lot of Holland Madden in here I can see Twillery batch shirts uh, there's J crew Bonobos um, here's my untuck it shirt I got so, so many shirts at this point but this is only a part of them because I've also moved a lot of them down to my basement where I shoot a lot of my videos um, and you can see the bar is kind of bowing in here. So I'm looking forward to moving a lot of these out. Uh, here's Grand Frank, Everlane. I got Mott and Bow in here, Kamakura, Wool and Prince. So I got a lot of dress shirts in here. And I could do a, a further dive on there, but I'm looking forward to the shorts. It's almost a uh, short season here. I put this little belt and bow tie hook over here when I first moved in. I don't use it much anymore. Uh, I do keep the bow ties on here, but the belts I've since moved. And so this is one way to keep things organized. I can't remember. That was. 20 bucks or something on Amazon uh, and then before we go down here I'll talk about this I'm, I'm excited about this but then I keep um, a number of ties on this tie hanger a lot of these are like tie bar and, and you know gentleman's box and espresso box and those type of things but I keep a lot of the ties that I like to have quick access to right here I wear ties usually once or twice a week I have so many ties that I don't like to not wear them and so I'll rotate through these in different ways uh, lots of this, I, you know, lots of this is tie bar uh, in here. I've talked about that before. And then I have some belts that I hang up. These are those core track line belts that I really like. They come with this hanger, which is super convenient because it's easy to pop these on and off. And then you drop it. And then uh, Jay Butler in the suede and uh, Satchel and Page. This is a J. Crew belt. And then the other uh, leather, the brown leather, was actually made by a friend. He does some other work and so those are my belts i don't have a lot i think you need like a black belt a brown belt but then i'm starting to accessorize more and so that is my little belt collection but down here is a little rig that i built in order to organize my pants and sweaters and so what i keep on top this is just some of the stuff that i usually grab when i am traveling so this is my dop kit uh, this is my old satchel and page dop kit but i usually keep this stuff right here for easy access i can't keep a lot of stuff on here because the, the shirts basically come down and just touch right on top of there uh, but then down here we get into my sweater collection because it's currently sweater season when uh, spring comes i will take these sweaters out and i will pack those away and i replace these with shorts so that it becomes shorts up top and then pants down here. Right now, uh, all of my denim is out in the studio, but I have, I don't know, a dozen pairs or so of jeans, but I'm going to be doing a jean video, a denim video very soon, because there's a lot of questions on those. Right now I got my cords in here. I've got um, my Mizzen and Main chinos. These are a custom pair from Woody's, Bonobos cords, and so I'll keep, I basically keep all my chinos here year round. I'll pack up my cords once the spring comes with the sweaters, but let me show you uh, how and why I built this. So I built this stuff with some wood from uh, Lowe's and I ordered some wheels off of Amazon so that I was able to bring this out and easily access additional sweaters and things back here. You can see I keep a pair of shoes. This is some of my summer shoes down here. And then I actually have my like work slacks and trousers back here as well. They're really easy to access just by reaching in, but if I want to move it around or 
access anything else. This becomes super easy to wheel in and out of the closet. And then down below all of my shirts, uh, there's additional storage back here where I'll put some shoes. Actually, my white, got my white grates back there. I'm looking, these are coming out pretty soon. And so there's more storage of just stuff back there. And I got a box where I have my summer shorts, which uh, will soon become the sweater and the rotation. So that is my primary closet. I would say, I don't know, 75% of my clothes are in there, maybe 60. I think the other question a lot of people want answered is, um, you know, of all the stuff, how much of it do I end up keeping? I'd say about two thirds of the stuff that ends up on the channel ends up in my closet. Uh, you know, all the custom stuff stays. Some of the, you know, the either Bombfell or Stitch Fix, I don't keep all of that stuff. I don't have, I try to be more like minimalist about this kind of thing, but uh, yeah, a lot of it stays. And then over here, we have a gentleman's chest, which was one of the primary reasons that I chose this bedroom set when we looked at it. It has since been partially commandeered by my wife. That's her stuff uh, in the bottom here. But I use this to, this is about half mine right here. Uh, up here, a lot of my accessories, pocket squares. Um, you know, right now I've got, these are, this is the Rolex um, Air King from Theo and Harris and the Tudor that you saw in a couple of videos. I just go have those kind of lying in a linen bed right now. And then I got some accessories over here. Uh, this I used as a watch roll when I went to Menfluential. Let's see, this is, uh, it's in here, Orlux. There you go, I like that one. Uh, I got my, I got some suspenders back here. These are my uh, shirt tail garters. And so this is a lot of the stuff that's gonna go out to the studio once I'm able to uh, get that set up. I have some extra underwear over here. Uh, this is my Shep shirt, some sweaters. I don't really have a lot of good organization within here, what's going on. These are my basics. So this is my Christmas jammies, um, a hoodie. This is my like daily wear stuff. So like when I come home and throw on a shirt, it's usually one of these. This is a Mizzen and Main Henley. I've got some wool in here. This is another Mizzen and Main shirt, a Mack Weldon Air Knit. So I usually cycle through these. And then down here are more like casual shirts, which I end up not wearing a lot, but you see, uh, this is one of the graphic tees I actually kept over the years from my uh, graphic tee collection, but Buzz Lightyear, my son's favorite and my favorite. Uh, I don't wear these a lot. This is the wool, wooly polo that I really like. This is another wool shirt. Uh, and then over here, I usually put my outlier pants on top of here. And then this is the Ministry of Supply pants, Kit Culture, uh, Lululemon, in there. And this is an old pair of um, Bonobo shorts. So, some various things here. Underwear. Uh, right now, I've got some stuff I gotta get clean. But I do underwear right here. And then socks, like athletic socks and no show socks going here. These are the Mack Weldon Air Knit. Um, the Mack Weldon Air Knit No Show. No, these are the Mack Weldon Air Knit Performance Socks. I run in these. And these are the Mack Weldon no show over here. Then I have my regular sock drawer. Um, about, I'd say, a small portion of it right now is in the laundry. This is at Step Into Life. Um, Dapper Classics. I love Dapper Classics. They never answer my emails, though. Um, you know, I got a lot of Mack Weldon in here. This is Mack Weldon, Mack Weldon, Mack Weldon. Um, <laughs> Mack Weldon. And then all, a lot of the stuff from, like, Gentleman's Box and Spreza Box gets cycled through here as well. And then I have another drawer for ties. I try to roll them most of the time, but uh, right now I just got a couple of them folded. I just kind of move these around, but this is another thing going out to the studio very soon. So that is my gentleman's chest over here, laundry basket. Basically anything that's dirty goes right in there, and then I wash that very swiftly. Right outside of my bedroom, I have this other closet. This is a pretty deep one, uh, and back in there we have suits, and then I throw my suitcases in here as well. So let me set the camera up here. Not only do I keep my luggage in here, but I've got some of my weekenders and other leather bags, the um, Lat 56 bag, the, the garment bag, but then also I've got like my Frank and Oak suit in here, Oliver Wicks, uh, my Indochino. I put, I basically keep suits in here, and then you also see some like jerseys. And so that closet, what the the width in there is like three and a half feet, where I'm able to store additional things. So a lot of stuff goes in there. I can see um, a linen, 
a linen blazer I have, and some other stuff. But then I do have more suits downstairs. So let's go to where I used to shoot my videos, my old studio right now in the basement, because that's the last place where I've got some other clothes. On our way down to the basement, we also have right by the front door, coat closet. Uh, I basically keep a pair of sneakers and like boat shoes down here. And then I've got, uh, no, there's no light in here, but this is my leather jacket, suede jacket. I've got my Oliver Wicks top coat. So I keep outerwear in here and then now that spring is coming, I'll just put this up. We have a closet upstairs of extra storage, and those will all go up there, and I'll put some spring jackets down here. You see my pea coat, Everlane pea coat and stuff, but uh, this closet also a little bit, a little bit hectic. And now we're down in the basement, and what you will see is the total uh, chaos and mess that the behind the scenes stuff is right now. So uh, up here, this is the white backdrop that I was using when I was down here before. Luckily, now that that's rolled up, I have a lot more space because that used to take up almost two thirds of the basement because it would come down and swirl. And as you can see, the reason you never really saw my head in the other try on videos is this is the, the rafters for my uh, basement. And where my desk used to be, I was actually slotting my head inside of two rafters. Right now, I just have shoes kind of strewn about. Uh, this is a a portion of them right here. I've got some more in boxes over there. I use that big box where I put like a, a half dozen pairs in there. I got another box of shoes over here. So the shoes situation is a mess, but I'm building shelving where I can put those up in the new studio. And then just around here right now, there's a lot of uh, various boxes and I'm trying to develop a, my system where boxes that come in that I'm going, that I need to get to immediately go out to the studio, boxes that I need to get to in the next week, stay down here. But then behind me, this is my other hanging rack, which you saw in one of my videos, I pulled this up. But this is where I also keep most of the shirts that end up cycling through as I'm shooting videos. So the reason you see a lot of white shirts, or this, you'll see the same shirt sometimes is because I keep this rack right here where I'm able to quickly throw something on, change. Uh, this is the Twillery shirt, I'm in a lot of videos. And then I got some suits. Uh, this is my Bonobo suit. Uh, this is a Frank and Oak one. This is a custom. And then over here, I've got a couple of my custom ones hanging up in the basement as well. This is a pretty cool, this is a workbench that was in the house when I bought it. And it's really cool. And then behind these suits that are hanging up, uh, I have my watch box back here, but it's really tough to see. Um, you saw that in the other video. I haven't really been able to um, properly organize it in some time, but then like I'll put, I used to have a stack of gentlemen's boxes and espresso boxes over here, but then I'm putting, putting some samples and stuff. Um, I got more. This is, everything's just a mess. So the, the takeaway of this video is I'm not as organized as I would like to be or that it may appear on the channel, but, um, oh, and then that's that, that really cool garment hanger that I got at a vintage shop. I really like this thing. I actually might take, I'm gonna take this to the studio right now. And then, oh, these are custom shirts from somewhere. Let's see, this is, this is I Taylor. Yeah, I Taylor and then a tie bar shirt. All right, so what I wanna do coming soon is a deep dive into my shoe collection into, like I said, socks and underwear. Uh, you know, as I get that organized, I have this new closet system that I actually got from Brian. If you watched Brian Sakawa's video when he did his closet tour, that shelf system, that closet system they had, I bought that from his Instagram, and I'm gonna put it out in the studio. But I have a lot of a lot of plans coming up here. Um, you guys always ask about Darn Tough. I got another box of their stuff right here, so that's coming. I want to do a video on my tattoo because. You see in a couple of my videos, I think most people know now that I have it, but I want to do a video about it, why I have it, uh, why I have these slacks from JCPenney. Uh, this is some stuff for giveaway. I got a lot of stuff coming up for giveaways, but that's the closet tour. I hope you don't think that I'm now too much of a slob, but um, I'm excited to not only do the deeper dives into the collections, but also take you through the studio, talk about how I built it, why I built it, the, the 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 stuff behind all of it because that's going to be like my ideal space where I can I can organize it how I want I can keep things in particular places I'm, I'm really looking forward to that I'm I'm hoping that one will come in see April May May might be the time where I'm ready to like I can finish because it's still under construction I'm still working on it but uh, that's the closet tour so I'm looking forward to all those follow-up videos looking forward to the big move and looking forward to your feedback and comments until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.